Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. In today's course play tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the fill and empty shovel mode. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to use the BGA right here. Now this is just on the Goldcrest Valley map. And I'm going to grab my front loader, or my wheel loader. You could use a front loader too, I'm just going to use a wheel loader in this context. So what you want to do is get lined up to your bunker that you're going to use right here. So. I'm going to get lined up right about here, I think is probably good. And I'm going to start recording the course. So again, to bring up the HUD, right click, and then I'm going to left click on start recording course, like so. And I'm going to drive towards the beginning of the bunker. Once I get to the beginning of the bunker, I'm going to hit wait, set wait point right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive to the end of the bunker. Okay. So you can do this when the bunker is empty too. It probably is a lot easier than doing it when it's full but this will work both ways. All right, so once I get to the end of the bunker, I'm gonna hit the set wait point again, and then I'm gonna click on this start reversing, reverse driving. So now, course play knows that it's, I'm reversing instead of going forward. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reverse this direction right here, and what I wanna make sure I do is I wanna make sure I provide myself with enough of a lineup point to that unload point. So I'm gonna make a turn here now. There we go. So I'm going to back up here, and then I'm going to click this little button again, left click it to disable the reverse feature, and I'm going to drive up towards this bunker right here, or this unload point, and I drive up, so just right about there. So that gives my forks just the right spot. I'm going to hit that set wait point button again, and then I'm going to reverse, start reverse driving once again, and I'm going to reverse back up and then I'm going to turn and I'm going to drive so that my end point is behind my start point okay so that is the course right there okay let's go ahead and save that let's call it I don't know bunker one so the next thing we need to do is we need to set our loading position so when you go into this particular mode so if I'm in field work mode or any other modes it doesn't enable this but as soon as I click this uh, f empty shovel mode I have these options right here on this last tab again to select these you just left click okay so if I want the loading position so let's go ahead and set our loading position so the loading position is where the where the bucket or where the silage clamp the front object that you have on your vehicle that's basically what I'm trying to say uh, when you have that that's that's the loading position so I'm going to set it to that right there Okay, and you can move it to that position just to verify. So I can actually reset it. There we go. Transport position. So I'm going to set the transport position so it's tipped back, like so, in about something along that route, something in that area. And then I click right there. So I need to need a left click right in that little symbol, and that's the transport position. The pre-unloading position is the position it puts the puts the uh, bucket into before it unloads. That's why it's called the pre-unloading position. So I'm going to set it up so it's tipped up to about here. And I'm going to use that as my pre-unloading position. So if you lose your cursor, just right click. It'll bring it back. So pre-unloading position and then my unloading position. I'm going to set it up so it's tipped straight down like that. And that will be my unloading position. There you go. So if you want to verify those positions, you can just click this little uh, play button. So you can move it to the loading position. It'll automatically move it to the loading position, like so. Transport position, right so. Pre-unloading position, like so. And then unloading position, just like that. Okay. So I might set this pre-unloading position just a little bit higher, so it's as high as possible, just to make sure that I have the clearance. Okay, so raise it up as high as possible and then reset that. There we go. And let's check the unloading position. Yeah, so I thought I did that. So we want to raise that up again and then set that as our unloading position just so it's as high as possible. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this course out to see if it works. So I have the bunker and I have stop and go loading. I'm gonna set that to activated so it stops. So what it'll do is it'll move forward and then it'll stop a little bit, move forward and stop a little bit. That's how I'm gonna set it up. And 
Of course, if you want to save the course, you click the disk button and then you can save it, like I said before, like whatever you want. So in this case, it's set it to bunker one. So let's go ahead and test this course to see if it's going to work. So it's in the right mode. Make sure you have that in the right mode. And let's go ahead and set to drive the course and see what happens. So there it goes. It's going to go to that very first position right there that we set up or the very first position that is where it has to lower the implement. There it goes. And it's collecting the silage. And as you can see, it's slowly moving forward like so. And it's collecting the silage. And then what's going to happen is it's going to reverse to the position that we told it to. Now in this case, because this is an articulated tractor, it may have trouble with the turning because if you make the turn too severe, it may just go around in a circle. So keep that in mind. So sometimes using a steering wheel for this context might be better or a non-articulated tractor would be better. So it seems like it's made that turn okay. So we're to keep an eye on our money. So we have 48,000, 48,400,000. So let's go ahead and see if this is going to work. It's moving up to the unloading position. And there, it's unloaded it. Now the next step we need to check, check is to see if it goes to the first waypoints. So that's where we stopped and we made the turn. There we go. It's making the turn to that last point. And is it going to be in the right position? Let's find out. So it stopped. Now it's going forward again. And now it's returning to the very first point. So there's that weight point where it lowers the bucket. And there you have it. So that is how you set up the fill and empty shovel mode in course play. I hope you found that helpful. My name is Ian Robson. Leave a comment below with what tutorial you'd like to see next. And I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys later.